All right, you guys, today we gonna be taking a look at 2021 RDX A-Spec. Super handling all-wheel drive, of course. This one is in performance red. I love the exhaust on this SUV. Really aggressive for, you know, a small SUV like this. Um, so really nice wheels. Everywhere where you would have chrome has been replaced with gloss black trim. So looks really sleek and nice. Um, you get blacked out headlights as well. Dark finish down at the bottom, lower fascia. LED fog lights. Now this one is pretty much loaded. It is missing the 360 camera, but it has front and rear parking sensors, rear cross traffic alert, things like that. So you should be okay. And of course it has passive entry, smart key, um, works on all four doors as you see the ridges right there to lock it. That's how you lock it. And to unlock it, just act like it's already open and it'll open right up for you. This one here we have trimmed in black leather with the Alcantara inlays in the seats as well as on the dash, nice texture. You get the contrast gray piping around the headrest, around the center of the seat. And these perforations not only look good, but they do serve a purpose because this vehicle does have not only heated, but cooled seats, as you can see to that button all the way over to the right. So really nice. And then you get your dynamic mode selector, push button transmission, accurate two touch pad, plenty of storage, panoramic sunroof, lots of space back here. We'll go ahead and check out the cargo area as well after I look into the back seat. After we take a look into the back seat. Also, of course you get your ELS Studio 3D system. And this Performance Red is really nice. This is the same paint that has been on that Type S that I've been driving for the last couple of days. Um, so nice shade of red. And this was brand, brand new. So you got all this plastic and stuff in here, but you can see for the most part, it's a nice vehicle. Um, and it'll look even better once all that stuff is out of there, off the headrest and all this stuff. So you can fold the seats down from right here if you're up here, or you can go around the back, pop the trunk, lift gate, hatchback, whatever you want to call it. And then you'll have two levers, one to the right, and one to the left. You just pull that, releases the seat for you. Folds nice and flat. And then now you've got all of this space. And for most people, this is definitely enough. If you need more, they do make an MDX for you if you do want a little bit more space. You also have a false floor here that has not one, but two levels of storage. Two really deep bins. These are, I mean, these are great for groceries. Um, if you got kids at soccer practice or something, you don't want any of their equipment rolling around, falling out the, you know, rolling around in the back of the cargo area. It's a nice place to be able to put these things. You get some more storage down here over on the side. Um, you get your tie down cargo hooks, which are real metal, which is nice as well. And then of course this vehicle has all LED illumination. Now this looks like an incandescent bulb on camera, but in, in person it is blue. So you'll see all of that here. And then you also get your subwoofer in the back for your 3D um, studio system, which is really nice as well. So it's good if you back here tailgating, you know, you can have your mu music coming out of here and uh, have a good time. Now, as far as the tailgate is concerned, it is height adjustable. So let's say you got a low clearance in your garage, right? Let's say you wanted it to come down to about here. You'd stop it, hold it, wait for it to beep. And now when I close it, it's going to recall that setting from now on until I decide to switch to something else. So now when I open it, Now it's only gonna stop right there. 
and then to defeat that if you want it to go back you just push it it won't fight with you and then hit and hold now that's the new setting so now when it closes and reopens it'll go all the way back up so i'm gonna show you that just for demonstration purposes one more time now you see it opens all the way back up so just by hitting and holding this button for about two to three seconds at whatever height you want it'll recall this setting every time 